Well, Joyce, thankfully no one was injured. These townhomes under construction. I want to give you a live look behind us. You can see the damage that has been done to this construction site here. But what you see here is calm compared to what it looked like about an hour ago. I want to show you some cell phone video that we just obtained by a neighbor from across the street who was woken up by the flames. It was big flames too that they had when they arrived. The firefighters had a big fight. They said they saw them when they were coming in from Queen Anne. They got here, they arrived on site. They were able to put them out quick, quickly. Thankfully, again, no one was inside at the time, but I do want to play for you some sound from that neighbor who shot the video. Woke me up was a really bright orange light in my bedroom. Uh, and, you know, I didn't obviously know what was going on right at the time. I kind of thought it was emergency lights, maybe, you know, a police truck or an ambulance or something. But when I stood up, the immediately saw out the window the entire building in flames. It was, uh, it was really intense. So I want to show you some pictures now from the fire department. They showed us they shot some pictures of what the flames looked like uh, when this was taking off those pictures taken by the fire department. And I believe we have Sky King video as well. Sky King above the scene here at 43rd and Winslow Place. Uh, they have a, a much calmer response from the fire department. But uh, as we come back down to our photojournalist Doug Dillon's camera here on the street, a much calmer site. I want to pan over and show you that there's only a, a few fire trucks that remain here one block off of Highway 99. But considering what this started with, the flames that they had, good news to report. No one injured, and it's all under control at this point, guys. All right, Alex, thank you.